So here is a simplified flow of the architecture uh, that we've built around Microsoft Graph Data Connect. So Microsoft Graph Data Connect uses Azure Data Factory to export data in bulk to Azure Storage. From there, we have pipelines that pre-process this communications content, and we're using Azure Cognitive Services to perform NLP, natural language processing operations on the data right. before we load it into Neo4j. And then that data is loaded into Neo4j, and we've built a canonical data model that we're leveraging that represents Microsoft Graph Data Connect and all of the entities that you can extract from that data. We'll look at that in just a second. And then we run Neo4j Graph Data Science algorithms on the data so that we can infer things about the data and get deeper insights. Neo4j provides a variety of ways that the data can be surfaced for analysis. So we're going to look at Loom visualization. We have an ODBC connector that allows you to connect to Power BI. There's a Python driver, so data scientists could directly interact with the Neo4j database um, using common tools like Jupyter. And of course, uh, we have a rich set of APIs like GraphQL, which we'll take a look at that can support web and mobile applications for real-time analysis and alerting based off of the Microsoft Graph Data Connect data. Yeah, and the thing that I really like about this and the thing that's so interesting about what I think we've done here is that you know we've taken three huge assets really here, right? You've got your Microsoft 365 investment, you've got your Azure investment and your Neo4j investment, and we're extracting you know, more data and getting even more value, uh, I think, out of those, those three separate entities That's and right. bringing them all together here to do something that I think is really interesting. And, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be amazing. I think when people Yeah, I mean, it's a really nice world. story because with Microsoft Graph Data Connect, you get that comprehensive view of what your organization is talking about. Right. In, across all the channels that are in play. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you're able to look at that at scale. And then by bringing that data into Neo4j, which is you have a whole rich set of analytics that you can perform um, using the graph data model on this graph-based data. Right. It's also interesting that you know you can either do this as a sort of a greenfield project, right? Mm -hmm. Something where you just bring in the graph data, reason over it using all the tools that we've described, or you know if you already have a, a Neo4j data base in place with a lot of other data sets, you can bring this in to make, you know, sort of an additional level of richness uh, apparent in the way that you're analyzing, you know, the data that sits yeah. across your organization. Exactly. I mean, that really is the core of this offering. So yeah. with these two technologies pulled together, essentially providing you a starter kit, and um, uh, you'll be able to see your communications in a graph. But where you take that completely depends on your use case, and you can easily integrate other kinds of internal external data and explore a whole number of use cases that we haven't even imagined yet. So one of the things that's really great about mm -hmm. what we're doing and what we're collaborating on is that the shape of the Microsoft Graph Data Connect data itself is strictly uniform, right. which means we can build a canonical graph data model in Neo4j mm -hmm. that extracts all of the main entities from the data and makes it easy to import the data into Neo4j. Some of the entities that we've extracted include things like person, Active Directory, email, Teams messages, calendar events, we can get to SharePoint yeah. documents, et cetera. And then we can take this model and we can enrich it using NLP-derived information such as phrase, entity, or sentiment. And then, of course, you can bring in any internal or external data that you want using this canonical data model as a starting point for building out your use case. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool, and it's uh, it's interesting to see that you've got you know raw graph data, derived data, as well as external data sources all coming together, and with the ability to sort of express the relationships between all of those things. That's what's so really we've neat. we've talked enough about the solution. So how about a quick demo? Let's so, do it. Yeah. So the demo demo time. The, demo time. Right? Mm -hmm. Thank you.